Sunshine, thank you for a $20 super chat. Again, super generous super chats. Thank you guys very much for that. Comfortable setting my own rates. Been trying out preset PIDs. Should I be paying attention to actual settings to learn PIDs or will presets remain relevant enough to just use those going forward? Um, if you want to learn PIDs, there are two ways to approach it. One is to take a sort of a structured approach from somebody like Chris Rosser or Brian White and start, you know, start with step one, two, three, four, five until you get a finished PID tune. Another way to approach it is to have a problem you're trying to solve. Like, I have too much prop wash oscillation. Which PID setting do I change to try to fix that? Um, the first one doesn't work with presets. If you're trying to learn to create a, a, a cohesive PID tune from scratch, presets aren't going to help you with that because you're going to pick a preset and then who knows how they got where they got. The second one where you have a specific thing you're going to try and change and you try to learn which knob or dial to turn to make that happen, that is compatible with presets. You can start with a preset and be like, okay, but I want it a little bit more like this. Um, presets do a pretty good job, but eventually, especially if you stray away from like five inch freestyle quads or five inch racing quads, it gets a little harder to find presets that work and you are more likely to be presented with a problem that you have to solve on your own. I would say this, keep using presets. If you are motivated to learn PID tuning, study a Chris Rosser video or Brian White are two, two uh, guys who make really good PID tuning tutorials and try to tune from scratch or just keep using presets until you run into a problem that a preset doesn't solve for you. And then you're like, oh crap, and now I gotta learn how to do it myself. Sunshine says, I'm uh, I'm happy with a good tune no matter how I get it. Yeah, then just stick with presets. <laughs> 